What's cracking, everybody? So today's video, um, you know, I was kicking this around for a while. And I was kicking it around more than anything. There's a couple reasons. One is these terms are thrown around like a lot of prison terms. These, these terms are thrown around so frivolously, so loosely. And it, it's pretty obvious that people throw these terms around without knowing what they mean whatsoever. Like a lot of prison stuff. Um, there's that and then there's that. Well, we'll get to the second part. Maybe. We'll see. So the terms that I want to talk about today that people throw around so loosely and frivolously without even knowing what they mean are the words PC and drop out. <clears throat> and we're going to talk about what they mean in California because I don't know what they mean in other states. I don't know if they have the both in other states. But we're going to start off with drop out. You know, it's, it's funny that I hear people throw that term around and, and, and it, 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 like when they, savage, we're calling savage a drop off. Um, and it just cracked me up, you know, that, that people think they know what terms mean and, and they throw it around. And then, well, again, let's see, I want to get back into that second thing, but we're going to leave it to the side for a minute. So let me clue you guys in. Because it's even a lot of guys that have been to prison that use the word dropout wrong. Okay. So, there's only one way that a person in California is a dropout. See, in the California Department of Corrections, they have a validation process. When they validate you, they validate you as either a member or as an associate. Of one of the big four. That's it. All these other validations of these little disruptive groups and stuff that these guys are talking about and bragging about. Those aren't gangs. Those are just disruptive groups. Those are a thing that the CDC created in order to throw those dudes back on the main line. They just don't know it yet. They have, they're starting to realize that's what happened. The CDC played them. But so when you become validated as a member or an associate of one of the big four, the way it used to be is they took you off the main line, they threw you in Pelican Bay for the rest of your term, right? Now, through the hunger strikes, those guys have gotten out. Now, the validation process had to have certain points, minimum of three. They usually went after you when they had five or more because they wanted it to stick, right? And you were, you were slammed down. You were recognized, identified by law enforcement in the state of California as a member or an associate of a certain faction within the big four. In order to get out of the shoe, there was different options, but one was dropping out. You would have to get a chrono, the same exact process it took to stick you in the shoe is the same exact process to get out, and you get a dropout chrono. PCs don't get that. Completely different caliber of convict. Now, I'm not going to go into the whole, like, I, I, you guys know, that's as close as I'm going to get, right? Now, as far as a PC, PCs have bad charges. They ratted. You know, they came in and they did something foul where they knew they can't go to the mainland. See, dropouts were actually in the mix. That's why the state of California decided they needed to be housed in Pelican Bay forever. Completely different thing, as I said. Those were guys that were really members, really involved in murders, mayhem, all operations of whatever organization they were a part of or they were up under. Um, PCs might run a drug debt up and have no fucking honor and just PC up. You know, they'll run a debt up over th with this guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, and then they PC up because they have no intent on pain, no morals, no ethics. That's what a PC will do. 
a PC will, like I said, come in with bad charges and no, ain't no way I can hit nowhere. And then they lock it up. That's what a PC is. Now, there is also dudes who haven't been validated yet, who are real hitters. They get pushed out. They're not dropouts because they were never validated yet. They hadn't been validated. They get moved on. I've seen dudes get moved on four or five different times before they said, fuck it. You know, and, and they got hit and then try to fix it. Came back out like, look, homes, whatever I got to do, boom, 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 get hit again. Come back out, hey, homes, whatever I got to do, man, I'm, I'm willing to do it. This is some bullshit. They get hit again. And then they realize, damn, they're not going to let me fix this. And it's usually over dirty politicking. And they go to the other side. And see, this is the thing when I hear these groups, especially when I hear dudes that are not Mexican speaking on, oh, that Mexican, he's, he's a dropout or he's a PC. And it cracks me up every time because there are things that when you run with the Mexicans, whether it's Southern or Northern, there are things that can happen that can push you out. You're not, he's, he's, the dude isn't a rat. The dude is far from a punk. He's a straight killer. But the politics chewed him up. He, caught, he, he found himself on the losing end of a political struggle, maybe. And he got whacked and whacked until he left. But see, other groups outside of the Raza can do things that if they were running with the Raza, they would be no good. But yet they have the audacity to talk about Mexicans. It trips me out. And again, um, you know, and I've said, I've said, look, today, right now, look, it's 1035. It's 1035 on a Thursday right now as I record this video. There are dudes right now somewhere in the state of California that are plotting to get somebody during second yard. One of these prisons in California, they're plotting on one of their homies. Something happened and, you know, he's going to have to pay the piper. And when second yard comes out, they're going to whack him. Whether he lives or dies is up to God. However, if he, if he lives, the killer he was before they hit him is the killer he is after they hit him. Doesn't mean they accept him back. Whatever the decision is, if they decide there's no, there's no fixing it, then what happens? He goes to the other side. And then you got dudes out here that are talking about, oh, that Bob right there is a punk. Why? Why? The politics got him. He will still kill you. That's what people don't get, man. You know, um, there's, there's things I could say, and I'm not, I'm not justifying anybody's decision. Every, every man has to make his own decision for himself. But I did want to clarify, you know, people act like because people got caught up in the grinder and wound up on the losing side of a political dispute, that that meant they were no good. And we all know every single Mexicano, every single raza, anybody from a barrio in California, I can't talk about Northern California, they... But in Southern California, everybody knows at least one homeboy of theirs that had to go to the other side. And they know it wasn't right. But then you got other people that talk about them that don't know them. Like, same neighborhood, but youngsters. Ah, fuck that, mom. But they don't know what happened. And then these terms get thrown around on social media and these dudes... You know, they, they all jump on it. Yeah, fuck that guy. And, and people, it, it's just, social media is such a trip to me. You have dudes that know within their heart, they have no doubt, they would never be able to do what a lot of these dudes did that had to go to the other side, right? They couldn't do what they did. They, they don't have the balls to do it. They, or, or they're smart enough to say, fuck, no, I'd rather be here on the streets. But yet they still throw these terms around. Like, how do you do that? How do you do that? There's dudes that live off the coattails and the, and, and the, the 
the work that other people put in and then they badmouth those people. You know, it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> You're comfortable where you are because of the work that dude did. He fucked up. That's on him. But in the safety of your living room, you talk about him. I, I guess that's impressive to you. I remember in there. You had to be careful. If you talked bad about somebody that went to the other side around the wrong person, it was clear. It, it, put it like this. There could be a dude that, that checked in for whatever reason. His camaradas know whether it was right or wrong. And if you get frivolous, man, hey, homes, I knew that Vato, this and this and that. In their mind, they're not going to tell you. But you made an enemy. They'll never tell you, but they're going to plot on you from that point on. This is Vato, eh? Vato, he never done a fucking thing. And he's talking about that, Vato, in their minds. All right, all right. We're going to find out now. You want to talk like you're tough and you haven't done a fucking thing. Let's find out. And this guy is so dumb, he's still frivolously running his mouth. And he winds up in a cross. He doesn't know. It's because he spoke on someone who got pushed out. But some of the people around him didn't agree with it. They just couldn't say it. People don't understand politics in California. People have this whole dream, this whole image, thinking they know what time it is. But anyways, you know, I don't want to go on and on about this. But I did want to, you know, it's, I've been thinking about it because I, I hear too much. Oh, that dude's this and that dude's that and that dude's this. Is that right? What if the guy... Was given a weed line. Let's, this, I'm going to do one example. Just one. What if he was given a kite and was told, hey, this needs to get from here to there. And in the process of transportation, something bad happened. And he had to flush it. He got in a, he got in a jam where he knew, if I don't flush this right now, the hoodas are going to get it. And someone decided that's not good enough. Holmes. That bottle's done. Fuck him. But then you got people from outside of that, that faction Calling him all kinds of names. He ain't no punk. He ain't no coward. He protected what he had because he didn't want it to fall into the wrong hands. But it didn't get from point A to point B like it had to. Anyways, man. Hopefully that helps some of you guys. The ones that it, it doesn't help, I'll see them in the comments section. And, you know, I'll get a kick out of it. Everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love, man. I'm out of here.